Hey everybody, Billy from Billy's Bike Adventures. Thanks for tuning in today and watching the video. Now, if you've already subscribed to my channel, thank you very much for doing so and being part of the Billy's Bike Adventures community. If you haven't done so yet and you're watching on YouTube, just click on the uh, logo in the bottom right-hand corner. That'll give you access to all the other videos that I have on my channel. Uh, if you're watching on Facebook, go to the link in the description and that'll take you to the channel where you can subscribe if you're interested. And if you do so, thank you very much indeed. Uh, now, what are we going to be doing today? Well, um, as some of you have written in and asked for a short video highlighting or and showing all of the tools necessary to be able to remove the wheel off your adventure motorbike and change the tyre and then reinstall that wheel. Now, uh, there's a couple of uh, YouTube cards, cards up top, so click on those for the other videos of how to remove the wheel and then uh, how to change the tyre. Uh, but the, all that information is spread across three different videos. This one is just going to highlight all the tools that you need to be able to remove and change the wheel on your bike. If that's of some interest to you, keep watching and let's get into it. So let's break this down into a couple of stages. Uh, the first stage, I'm going to show you the tools that you're going to need uh, for removing either the rear or the front wheel off your uh, large adventure motorbike. A couple of cards up top to show you um, how to actually how to use those tools, but this one is just going. To, I'm just going to show you the tools that you're going to need. Starting off, you're going to need a Torx head Allen key. Okay, so that's the star-shaped ended um, star-shaped end Allen keys. Uh, now uh, you're going to need that to remove the speed sensor from the front and the rear wheel, depending on um, which wheel you're going to be removing. You will also need Torx head sockets, a T45 and a T40. The T45 will be to take off the brake calipers from the front wheel. Uh, the T40 will be to uh, just slacken off the pinch bolts on the front ax axle directly underneath the end of the forks. Uh, there's a couple of uh, pinch bolts there to either side. You'll just need the T40 Torx head just to um, slacken that off and uh, be able to pull uh, the axle out. Okay. So that's your Torx head kit. You will need a 32mm socket for both the front and rear uh, main nuts on the axle. And you will need also a bar breaker. You may, you may not need a bar breaker, actually. It depends on how tight they are. Um, a, a regular um, um, a wrench might, might do the job. But um, uh, I've got a bar breaker just in case they're uh, a little bit tough to get off. It really helps with some leverage on undoing those, those nuts. So that is the rear wheels and the front wheels, how to remove them or the tools you will need to be able to remove those wheels off your bike. Right, so you've got your wheels off your bike. Now you want to change the change the tyres yourself. Okay, so um, start with you're going to need a valve core remover. Okay, so that's to take out the core of the valve and that's just a simple unscrew and then that'll uh, completely deflate the tyre. So you're going to need that. Okay. You will also need to protect your rims on your bike are rim protectors. Now, I've only got two. Ideally, you'd need three or four, okay? Uh, but um, th these are great. So these are for um, leveraging the tyre off the bike. So you're going to need some rim protectors uh, to be able to do that. And then, importantly, you are going to need your bead breakers. So tyre levers, one end, and bead breaker at the other. So the bead breaker is really just to pop that tyre off the bead um, and so that uh, um, it's easier to get the tyre off. So uh, um, just look at the, the video on how to use these properly, but uh, you'll need some bead breakers. And on the other end, I've got the, uh, the, the tyre lever ends at the other end, but very, very important that you're going to need those. Uh, also, actually, just uh, as, I, uh, as I remember, just get some um, glass cleaner and that will be to spray your rims um, when you're taking the tyres on and off your wheels. So a bit of glass cleaner. Right. So two other items I need to show you, um, or small items that I need to show you before I get onto the larger, the two larger items you're going to need to successfully remove, change your tyre and install the wheels back onto the bike. Um, once you're ready to put the tyre back, or once you're ready to put the wheel back on, once you've changed the tyre and you're ready, you're going to need a torque wrench to make sure that your axle nuts and your brake caliber nuts and the uh, pinch bolts at the front are torqued to the right specifications for your bike. So just check your user manual uh, to get that accurate, to get that accurate. but you're going to need a torque wrench to, uh, to be able to do that. The other thing is, of course, once you've changed your, once you've changed your wheel, you're going to need some wheel weights to make sure that you balance out the wheel before you put it back on the bike. So um, you'll need some wheel weights as well. So that's it for the small items um, that you're going to need. Let's get on to the two bigger items that you're going to need to successfully remove and reinstall the wheels once you've changed your tyres. So one of the larger items that you're going to need is an air compressor. Um, so um, just make sure you've got an air compressor that pushes out enough bar or PSI 
to make sure that um, you're able to pop the beads back on the tire, so the tire o over the beads, and to inflate to the correct pressure. So an air compressor, uh, compressor is one of the things that you're going to need to be able to change these wheels. Um, if you can't afford a compressor, I mean, th th they're pretty cheap. I got this, was this one at a good price. Check the description below for the link to this. I got it at a pretty good price. Um, but um, you can always take your wheels to a garage and have them inflated there. Um, and I'm just talking about a regular petrol garage. You don't necessarily need a, um, uh, a an air compressor to be able to change uh, the tires on your bike successfully at home. Just take your wheels to a, a garage and, and bead pop them and uh, inflate them to co the correct pressure there. Okay. So once you've got your wheel on your bike and you've uh, bead popped it and got it pressurized to the correct pressure, um, before you put it back on your bike, uh, you of course need to uh, balance the wheel out uh, with the wheel weight. So you're going to need a, a balance bar. Uh, just check the description again. All the items in the description below will be, um, there'll be links to all the items. So just check there if you just want to order them. Uh, but uh, you're going to need a balance bar and that combines with your wheel weights to make sure that your wheel is balanced before you put it back on your bike. So I hope that was of some interest to you. So um, all the items are listed below and links to those items are there as well. If you want to order those items, just cl um, click the links below. That'll take you to where I got them from. And uh, hopefully you'll, you'll get as good a deal as what I did. Um, uh, if you've got any questions or comments, just send them through to me at billysbikeadventures at gmail.com or leave them uh, below on this video uh, and I'll get back to you within 24 hours, if not before. In the meantime, thank you very, very much for watching. If you subscribed, thank you very much again for doing that. And I will hopefully see you again very soon.